Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to implement auto filter search functionality from database using Angular JS. And here we got the final output. Let's enter employee name. If I type V, see here we got Warren. If I type C, Charan. If I type K, Kapil. C, Charan. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I am using 4.6.1. And the application name is MVC Filter Records. AngularJS, AJS, click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC, click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now, in this project, when I expand the scripts folder, there is no any AngularJS files. Let's install AngularJS. Right click the project name, manage NetJet packages, select that one, go to browse and search for AngularJS and from the search results I am selecting the first option AngularJS, click install, click OK. And the AngularJS files are installing in our scripts folder. And the AngularJS is installed successfully. And I also notice there is a green tick mark which means this AngularJS installed successfully. Let's close this NetJet package window. Now after adding the AngularJS to our project, now let's add the adio.net entity data model. Right click the project name, add and select the ADO.NET Entity Data Model. The model name I'm adding. EMP. Click OK. And from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option, EF Designer from Database. Click Next. Let's create a new connection. I'm adding a SQL Server name. After adding a SQL server name, now I am selecting the database name. The database name I am selecting new DB database. Test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. And here we got the connection string. The connection string name is new DB entities, and the connection string I am saving in the web.config file. Click next. And from the selected database, I'm expanding the tables as well as DBO. The table I'm selecting employee table, click finish. And here the employee entity model is added to a project. Let's close this output message box. Now after that, open solution explorer. Let's minimize the reference folder. Let's add the controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers. Add controller I'm selecting MVC file controller empty add the controller name is EMP click add and here we got our controller EMP now in this controller I'm adding the JSON result method public JSON result such EMP is a method name now in this JSON result I am adding our connection string new DB entities DB is an object is equals to new new DB entities after that I am adding the list class in this list class I am providing the table name which is employee 
employee the table name amp search is an object is equals to db dot employees object dot to list method and the return json method this json method takes two parameters the first one is the object we are getting the results from the emp search object comma and the second parameter is the json request behavior just add that one json request behavior dot hello get that's it we have done the coding path in the controller after that we require the index view page to display the results but before adding the index view page to the project first we must build the application build build solution and here we got a message the project is built succeeded let's close this output message now let's create the index page highlight the index right click the mouse add view the view name is index only in the template empty without model click add and here we got our index view page also first in this index view page I'm adding the angular.js reference file open solution explorer in the project under scripts folder come to the bottom there is angular.js file just drag and drop after adding the reference of the angular.js now I'm adding center tag h1 I'm changing the header implement angular.js live search data from database MVC tutorials. After the header tags, I'm adding horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding the table. Table. I'm adding the border for the table is equals to one. Let's close the table. Inside this table, let's add the table headers. TH. The first table header. I'm adding the table headers. Let's check the table columns. EMP ID, EMP name, email and salary. Employee ID. Let's close this one. We have four columns. I have added four headings. Name. The next one is the email and salary. Email. salary after that I'm adding TD let's copy this TDs now we require the angular.js script let's add the script inside the script I'm declaring a variable app is equals to angular dot module method between double quotes I'm adding the string name my app which is an angular application name comma the second parameter is the array required so let's add the array semicolon app dot let's add the controller the controller method takes two parameters the first one is the name the controller name is my controller comma the callback definition is a function dollar score comma dollar http semicolon after that I'm adding dollar http the method http method between single quotes I'm adding get comma and the next property of the http I'm adding the URL URL colon between single quotes forward slash the URL the path is the EMP controller let's add the controller name which is a EMP forward slash and we require the JSON result method name such EMP 
after that dot then function I'm adding the result object this time I'm adding scope dot search employee is an object is equals to the result dot data let's close it semicolon and that's it we have written the angular js to fetch the records from such emp angular js result into such employee object after that in the tr i'm adding ng repeat x in i'm adding such employee after that let's bind the column names between curly braces which is the angular expression x dot the column names are emp id emp id we have to give exactly column names which we have provided in the table x dot emp name x dot email in the last column between curly braces and adding x dot salary now after that i am adding the due container inside this due container i am adding the angular js directors ng app i am adding angular application name which is my app and the second directory i am adding ng iphone controller the controller name is my controller and i am closing this due tag after the table up to now we have just finished here to fetch the employee details into this table using AngularJS. Now we require the AngularJS search filter functionality. For that we require the input text box control. I'm adding the input type is equals to search. Now in this input element, I'm adding the AngularJS director, ng iPhone model. I'm adding the model name search. Let's close the input tag. Now in the table, ng repeat, give the pipe symbol, filter, colon, search. And this ng model search, we have to add in the filter. Now before run this application, there is two important things we must do. Open Solution Explorer, go to top, app underscore start expand that one first we have to configure our angular js files open bundle config.cs file copy the uh, this one and paste at the bottom in the script bundles instead of bootstrap i'm adding angular and scripts angular.js i don't require this respond.js once we add the script bundle for the angular, the next one, open solution explorer, in the road config.cs file, open that one. The controller name is the home, which is a default one. We have to change the home controller to, our controller name is emp, this one. Just copy this one and paste here. And the action result is the index view page only, which is this one. That's it, we have done the complete coding part. Now it's time to check the results on the browser, Google Chrome. And here we got the final output, the employee table in this table control and the text box control. This search filter functionality supports multi columns. For example, if I type 4, the employee ID. And here we got the search results in the table. It supports the multi column search functionality. Now in the first row, in the salary we have a 4 and the employee ID is 4 and the last one running, the salary contains 12,450. Suppose if you want to search 
filled up with a single column for example the employee name with only employee name let's stop debugging just add the input element dot the column name emp name and let's add the placeholder enter employee name let's rerun the browser link and here we got the final output let's enter employee name if I type V see here we got Warren if I type C Charan if I type K Kapil C Charan that's it